or bad? It's been a while. Okay, so uh, let's do one technique uh, from the back mount. They call this the rear triangle strangle hold or the rear triangle choke or the Yoshiro Sankaku. Uh, so every time you take somebody's back, guys, you're here. You got it from behind, and this will go over here. Looking back over here. You got it from behind. You have both hooks in, you got a seat belt in. You fall to the under hook side. This side, you fall down, bam, and then I'll watch. So we, we can adjust by putting a hip post, okay? Pushing him down, so to, 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 uh, to actually achieve the chance and the opportunity to do the rear triangle, triangle hold, or choke. Uh, we need to, to get them on our lap, okay? So once they're closer to our lap, the upper body, the shoulder line is closer to my hip line, then now we can start attacking the arms and trapping the arms. So one good thing to remember is, Whoever is on top of the hands is probably gonna win this fight. Because now I'm gonna to push it down, trap it easily over, cross my feet. Once I cross my feet, now look, I focus on collecting his arm. See, two on one, put it near my chest. Now as I lay back away or pull his arm away, expand my chest, I open my top knee. And then my bottom knee starts to lift to tilt him to the other side, like that. Okay, now we're gonna change the angle so you guys can see what happens. Every time, okay, we're just gonna go through again. We're gonna fall to the underhook side, hip pose, angle up. Push his shoulder line near my hip line. Now we fight the hands. We have to find a way to get on top of the hands to trap the arm. Once we trap the arm, okay, now we focus on going to one one on the arm you want to trap. Okay, that's the one's gonna go to his other uh, karate guard. Now watch. As I open my top knee, the bottom knee lifts up like a twisting motion to pull him to the other side. Now once we land on the other side, I keep controlling his arm, okay? With my bottom arm now, my right arm. Now my top or my left arm holds my shin bone. Okay, that allows me to maintain a seat belt on my opponent as I remove this leg to be able to move above his head to make the target smaller to, or to bring his arm closer to his neck. See, this arm is going to go to his carotid artery. My calf is going to go to the other side of the neck, to the, the, the other carotid artery. And then now I can lock my legs. So how do you lock the legs? Well, first you lock the initial triangle, then you pull everything up. Then you lock it, and then, now you do the squeeze. And he's going to tap. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Okay, now we're just gonna do it. So I'm gonna guide him through it. Okay, so we're here. So let's say, let's, we're gonna fall this way so you guys can see the lock even better. So uh, you're doing with this arm? Mm -hmm. Let's do uh, it. Here. Yeah, here? Yeah. Okay, so let's say we fall this way. Boom, hip pose, hip up. Yeah, yeah. so you keep pushing me down so my shoulder line is not close to my hip line. Mm -hmm. Then he's gonna proceed to trap my arms. Trap my leg, yeah, trap my arm to his leg, cross your feet now. Yes, the other way, it matters guys, okay? So if you're trapping the arm, this arm, so my right arm is trapping his right leg, make sure that foot's on top. Okay, crossing, yes. And then up here, pull this arm back, go to one one, and pull to the chest, perfect. Now open the knee, pull me up. Boom, now as we land, okay, the right arm or his bottom arm will rotate. Okay, down. Pull me down. Keep it. Now we're here. Cross your feet. So now look, his bottom arm, his right arm is going to keep dragging my my trapped arm, the isolated arm, in the pocket. Now his left arm is going to hold his shin bone. When he does this, he can unhook this. So, But look, he's got to pull this tight so I don't swing my hand in. Okay, now fight the urge to pull your leg around. It's not going to work. Pull it back. Pull your knee to your chest so that the calf muscle goes to the R3, like what he's doing right now. See how my voice changed? Now from here, go keep pulling it in. Okay, now from here, scoot up first. And when you scoot up like that, like hip up or shrimp, yeah, like that, it starts to push me lower. And that what that what that does is it takes it takes my shoulder out of the stranglehold. So now it's just my arm, like my tricep down and my, my neck. So it's easier to lock the triangle now. So lock it. Yes, pull everything up. Tight, okay, good. Now this is the squeeze, okay? He's gonna go two on one now, control my arms. Okay, so just make sure my arm doesn't go down. This is how you're gonna squeeze, look at my foot. The foot, the right foot has, the toes have to face the left foot. So there's a, a rotation downwards, not up. So you kick it, you flex it, then you rotate the toes down. 
that's what flexes this calf into my neck. It makes the muscle go, like uh, it enlarges the muscle to push into my neck. So go ahead. So we tight, right behind the knee, flex the toes. Now point the toes down as this knee starts to push in. You see it? So you're pushing everything into the straddle to the neck. So go. It's very, very tight. Okay, guys. So that's the the rear triangle, the shiro shantaku, the shiro shantaku. So any questions, let us know. Leave them in the comments below. That's the siren. That means I gotta go. I'm Batman. Ready? Here we go.